Hey girl, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So winter officially starts on December 21st, so it's time to get our winter wardrobes together, starting with those essentials that will be the base of our outfits and those go-to pieces that we will be wearing all season long. If you're new here, I'm Lakira Demaya. I share effortless and affordable fashion content, and I am on a journey to finding and maintaining a wardrobe that I love, shopping smarter with more intention, and I want to help you do the same. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So the good thing about winter wardrobe essentials is that they are pretty much the same from our fall wardrobe essentials and we'll pretty much be wearing the same things. But I think there are a few pieces that are worth mentioning just to make sure that your wardrobe is winter ready. To be completely honest, I don't have a lot of these items. One, I still need to do some shopping. Two, I don't live somewhere where it where we experience winter weather like that unfortunately so i won't be able to show you live examples but i am going to pop up like some inspo pics also where i would shop for the items so yeah it's like we're just gonna go shopping together get in loser we're going shopping all right so let's get right into all of the must-have items for your winter wardrobe starting with bottoms so first up dark wash jeans so jeans are essential literally every season, but in the winter, you should lean more towards dark wash. Darker color just gives your outfit more of a winter vibe. So rather they are straight leg jeans, baggy, cargo. As long as they are in a dark wash, then they are winter ready. Another pair of jeans that you should have are black jeans. So like black, like full black or like a black wash. Me personally, I would go for like that black wash look because I feel like solid black jeans, like you wash them and they kind of get that like faded look anyway. So um, going for like the black wash or like the already faded black kind of jeans, um, I would recommend that. Those are a pair of jeans that are on my list. And I honestly need some ASAP because I'm noticing that there are some things that just would look so much better with black jeans. Like I tried on this top and I was like, yeah, I need some black jeans for this. <laughs> so yeah, that is definitely a must have for your winter bottoms. Okay, so next are leggings. Leggings are actually like a trending item right now, but I feel like it's just always a staple. I haven't had a pair of the leggings in a long time and I do need some, but they are definitely something that you should have in your winter wardrobe because I feel like along with prioritizing just like warmth in the winter, we're also prioritizing comfort and leggings can definitely help you achieve both of those things. They're also so versatile and can be worn with sneakers, with boots, and like a long winter coat with an outfit with leggings, so let's just say like leggings, sweater, a long coat, some accessories. It's just like so easy. It's like a easy outfit formula for the winter and it really gives you that cozy yet chic look. Okay, the last bottom that we should have in our winter wardrobe um, are some like knitwear bottoms. I put this on their bottoms because I mean they absolutely can be worn just as bottoms with like different tops but also like the knitwear set so like you know if you just buy the whole set and wear it as a set which is always a go-to. A lot of the examples that I was finding you do have to buy the pieces separately so yes I would recommend the whole set because that's just such an easy go-to outfit. But if you just wanted the bottoms and to pair with different tops, I think that's great as well. And I'm specifically talking about the ones that like are not joggers, but just like, but just more elevated options. Like, so they're like a pant, but they're that cozy knit material. They're so comfortable, they're so warm, and they're easy for just like a go-to look for a casual winter outfit. Okay, next let's move into tops. So. You can still wear your short sleeve tops, your tank tops, honestly, if you wear like a jacket over it, all of the tops that you've been wearing in previous seasons, keep wearing those, but tops that you need to make sure that you have in your winter wardrobe include turtlenecks, long sleeves, and sweaters. So both turtlenecks and long sleeve are just really good for layering like under your sweaters, under your cardigans, your jackets, 
but I think like brown neck long sleeve tees, um, like I said, as well as turtlenecks. And these can be like kind of thin just because like I said, they are good for layering. Those are pieces that are gonna be good for like just the base of your outfits. And then as far as sweaters, I would say like fitted sweaters, you are going to just put jackets on top of, or if you don't really need a coat, like me, um, just the, like really cute chunky sweaters, turtleneck sweaters, loose fitting sweaters. Like, those are really good options. And again, just kind of an item that will be like one of those base pieces for your outfits in the winter. Now let's move into outerwear. So the essentials in this category include a long wool coat and one of those like faux fur or shirling lined jackets. So I'm actually kind of annoyed at the fact that it does not get cold enough here in Florida to do the whole long wool coat vibe because I've been like looking at a lot of like winter fashion looks and the girls are killing the outfits with those long wool coats. Like they have ones that are like leather um, with like the shirling inside. They have ones that are like plaid and they're just so gorgeous, but I wouldn't dare spend the money on those coats because I wouldn't get to wear them unless I like went somewhere. Um, so um, speaking of that, I actually plan to go thrifting for some to see if I can find like one or two just so on the one to like four days that it does get cold here, maybe I can pull it out. I just want to give the look, you know, like I really want to give the look. <laughs> but yeah, this is something that you should definitely have in your winter wardrobe. It like instantly takes your outfit up a notch. like. You can literally have on one of those cozy knit set or like a jogger set or anything and put a coat on it. It's like you went from like, oh, I'm just going to run errands real quick to like, yeah, I'm running errands, but make it stylish. Another outerwear piece that is essential is a puffer coat. So these can be cropped, these can be the long puffer coats, they can be the leather puffer coats. There's so many options. Um, it's a more casual vibe, but also this can be a little elevated as well. But I feel like it's another thing that I see the girls wearing that are in the colder cities and they're super cute. And lastly on this list is a, a faux fur lined jacket. I'm really talking about the faux fur lined leather jackets. Um, those are really cute. So I feel like in the fall, you just wear your leather jacket. But if you want that extra layer, extra warmth in the winter, get the one that's lined and they have some super cute options. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about accessories and shoes. So as far as accessories, I would just say hats and scarves. So those like um, beanie hats or even like the baseball cap type of hat like one you want to keep your head warm two is just such an easy completer piece to an outfit in the winter the next accessory item would be scarves so i just love like a chunky scarf look i just realized i haven't had a good scarf in a long time anyways um <laughs> those like super cute chunky scarves. And that's one of those things where if you're not wearing like coats and stuff, like if you just wear like a sweater and a nice scarf, nice jeans, nice boots, like that's a really cute outfit. But again, that's one of those things that's functional, but also just adding an extra piece to your outfit. And as far as shoes, I would just say sneakers and boots. So I'm pretty sure those were the items we were wearing in the fall as well, but yeah nothing really changes like um i feel like we're not really wearing heels as much in the winter so get you some sneakers um the adidas sambas still going strong in the winter also maybe go for like a chunkier sneaker um because those are i mean the adidas sambas are cute with leggings but like if you want to do that whole leggings look i think chunky sneakers look good with that as far as boots i think in winter like the most efficient option would be boots that don't have a heel so I know pretty much all of the boots that I have have a heel on them so I am searching for boots that don't have a heel so like combat boots and again combat boots will also work for that leggings and coat vibe um combat boots or those like cold weather boots so like if you're in the snow like I know it's like a specific boot that you should wear for like cold weather but they're flat um I'm not a Uggs girl but if you like Uggs, those are definitely a winter boot. And if you live somewhere where you have to wear Uggs, that's a good winter boot. Just those boots that don't have a heel also 
over the knee boot i did see i don't know if it was i don't know if it was in my research or like on tiktok that like those flat over the knee boots are coming back i'm gonna like pop up some examples i don't know how i feel about those but yeah that's an option as well <laughs> Okay, so since we're chit-chatting, I wanted to get into my winter wish list and the things that I am shopping for for my winter wardrobe. So I actually mentioned these two items in my last video where I talked about styling leather. Um, these items were actually inspired by me searching for those items in that video. But a leather trench and a leather bomber. I shared a leather trench that was from I forgot the name, but I'll put it here. I love that and I want that. Honestly, even if I only wear it like a few times, I need it, I need it, I do. And then also from that same site, they had a leather bomber. It was actually on sale. Now that I'm saying this, I hope they still have it. <laughs> that was, was that last week? I don't know, I hope they still have it. I'm gonna go get it when I'm done with this. I want one of those faux fur Sherling line jackets as well. Um, yeah, I think those are really cute. Oh, pleated mini skirts. So, I didn't put skirts as like a wardrobe essential, but I do think they are really good to have in your wardrobe because, I mean, one, like you're not only going to wear it in the winter, like you're going to wear it like even in the spring, but it's like, I think the looks are so cute with like a mini skirt and like tights but with like jacket, you know, boots and a coat. That's actually probably gonna be my Christmas look, like a good pleated skirt, sweater, tights, boots. I love that. Okay. I need some leggings. Um, I found some good options when I was looking for options to share with you guys. So probably just going to order one of those. I need some of those knitwear sets. So like, yeah, I feel like Something I noticed when like getting ready in the fall and winter. I also mentioned this earlier that like we're prioritizing comfort. So it's like, I don't always feel like wearing jeans and I can honestly say I don't have a lot of bottoms that are like, oh, let me just throw these on and go to the store or go run errands or whatever. So yeah, that's definitely something that I need in my wardrobe just for those, uh, whether I'm staying in the house or just for those quick, you know, weekend trips to the store or something like that. Like. Honestly, those are very essential and that's at like the top of my list. <laughs> I also need some more flats. Um, so I mentioned like not wearing heels as much. I'm not big on sneakers. I do have a few pair and I just kind of keep those in rotation. But I think um, another pair of flats. There's this pair from Steve Madden that I'm probably just going to get those. Because I did order these Mary Jane flats from Steve Madden. They just weren't for me, but um, I think I'm gonna get this other pair and then like I'll be cool on that end. I need boots that aren't heels, so. Um, I like combat boots, but I just don't want them to be like super chunky. Like that's just not my vibe personally. So I'm just looking for an option that like suits me. And last but not least, I need some black jeans. Like I said, when I talked about black jeans, some things just look better with black jeans. I noticed that when I tried on something the other day and I was like, yeah, this would hit with a pair of black jeans. So that's on my list. Um, I went to Express one time and I saw this pair um, and they were on sale too. I tried them on, they fit. And now I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I didn't get them. I think like I was kind of like in a rush and I wasn't there for that. And I told myself, I'm not here for this, don't get them. But I should have got them. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'll find another pair. <laughs> okay guys, that's it. Um, those are all of the winter essentials that you need for your wardrobe this season. And that is everything that is on my wish list. I hope that I have given you guys a good starting point for shopping for your winter wardrobe if you were doing so. And if you need to start, make sure you start with these items because they are really going to be like your capsule for your winter wardrobe. Okay guys, if you found this video helpful, leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you want to chat. I will link everything that I share in the description box. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.